This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Visit www.squarespace.com slash nameexplain to get 10% off your first purchase and build your own all-in-one platform. No plugins, no updates, no patches, ever. There are no pink bunny rabbits on Easter Island and there are definitely no flying reindeers on Christmas Island. Yet, if you were hearing about these islands for the first time, you'd probably think they were magical places, like the ones behind the doors in The Nightmare Before Christmas. Instead, they are two islands, one off the coast of Chile littered with huge stone heads, and one off the coast of Indonesia littered with millions of tiny crabs. So, why are these two islands in the middle of the ocean named after, of all things, holidays? So, if you throw your mind back to my South Africa video, you'll remember the Natal province, which received its name due to the fact that it was discovered on Christmas Day, with Natal being the Portuguese word for Christmas. And this is the case with Christmas Island too. Christmas Island's name was first coined in 1643, when English sea captain William Minor sighted the island in his ship. They were sailing past on the 25th of December, and in celebration, Minor's named it Christmas Island. Miners never actually set foot on the island. The first official exploration was in 1857 by the crew of the Amethyst, yet the crew struggled due to the island's deep cliffs and dense jungle. The island was uninhabited, but in 1888 the first settlement, Flying Fish Cove, was established, and as the island became more populated, the name Christmas Island was cemented. However, there is a second Christmas island. It's a raised coral atoll in the Pacific Ocean and is part of the Republic of Kiribati. James Cook came upon the island in 1777. He and his crew landed on the island on December 24th and stayed till January 2nd. Here his men refreshed and recuperated. James Cook said, as we kept our Christmas here, I call this discovery Christmas Island. Yet while the island is still called Christmas Island, it is more popularly spelt as Christmas, a respelling of Christmas in the Kiribati language. So what about Easter Island? Well, like Christmas Island, its name too came from the day it was discovered. Dutch explorer Jacob Logovin was sailing the South Pacific Ocean on Sunday the 5th of April 1722, which coincidentally was the date that Easter Sunday fell on in the Christian calendar that year. He named it the Dutch term for Easter Island and since then the name has stuck, even with the locals who call it Isla de Pascua, the Spanish name for Easter Island due to the fact that the island is under the jurisdiction of the Spanish part of Chile. Unlike Christmas Island, Easter Island was inhabited before being discovered by the Europeans. Easter Island has actually had quite the selection of names. It's said that one of its earliest names is Ti Pito Tihenua, meaning the navel of the world. The current Polynesian name for the island is Rapa Nui, meaning a big rapper, due to the similarities between Easter Island and the smaller island just called Rapa, also known as Rapa Iti, meaning smaller rapper. These islands, while around 9,000 miles apart, share a naming convention in which they were named after the day they were found. I've always found it interesting how such exotic locations had such out of place names, yet all it took to create these iconic names was the day they were founded. Imagine if one of them had been founded on Halloween and would have Halloween Island, or even better if one of them was discovered on Pancake Day. Pancake Day Island. What a beautiful place that would be. So despite the fact that I make videos for YouTube, I'm actually not that technologically adept. So when it comes to making a website, I'd have no chance. Luckily for the computer illiterate people like me, there's Squarespace, who have very kindly sponsored today's video. Squarespace is one of the best tools to easily create beautiful looking websites. Thanks to Squarespace, you can make a website for literally anything, whether that be for your business, a landing page for your resume, or if you're like me, a website for your YouTube channel. It's a great and easy way to showcase your work and grow your business. And yes guys, Name Explain now has a website thanks to Squarespace. This beautifully designed website was created entirely by a technophobe monkey like myself who has no clue how to make a website and no experience of anything like coding. And if I ever do come across something on Squarespace I have no idea about, their 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 day a year support can help with any issues I might have. 
which is perfect. And also on my website, you will find a brand new blog with its first post explaining all the software and hardware I use to create and manage my YouTube channel. So if you have the need for a website, no matter how big or small, Squarespace is where you should go to create your beautiful website with ease. And you can get 10% off your first order by going to www.squarespace.com forward slash name explain in the description below. If you're a fan of my videos and want to support the show, clicking the link in the description and checking out Squarespace is an amazing thing you can do. So once again, thank you to Squarespace for supporting the channel. And once again, that link is www.squarespace.com slash name explain. Thank you.